Good morning, folks. Sharing this via the Weather Channel, their longer range forecast for the U.S. winter. For those interested in the buoy data we've been showing, here's the site where you can learn a little more. Interesting article here about the Greenland ice sheet. Australian studies unveil a new fracking danger. 10 points to Romania if they are truly set to eclipse nuclear power by 2016. And Electric Universe proponents, this is an intergalactic magnetic tether, like the interplanetary field connecting the planets. A five-pointer in the middle of Africa is not an everyday quake. New Zealand had a volcano on watch for days only to have her sister erupt this morning, slightly north. Ecuador is seeing volcanic activity as well. Let's shift to weather. Where precipitation follows the convergence here, a welcome change as Queensland and the Northwest switch weather for a day. Anyone not sick of this sustained low in the North Atlantic? I feel like the last three days I've just repeated myself. Shifting to the U.S. and Canada, we have landslides, flooding, record precipitation, and significant slow slightly north. That low continues to bring that moist air around quickly and dumping it from the west coast to Hudson Bay. Now nah, Weather Channel, no need to name that storm. Here's your wind map, air rushing to the low up north with a high peak near St. Louis. Solar wind, top panel is the speed and you see we are elevated the last day with the density drop off being minimal and slow. It disturbed our magnetic shields allowed plasma to penetrate into the system and induced a strong baseline resonance, nearly sparking a brief geomagnetic storm. 12 hours after Mercury heliocentrically conjoined Jupiter, the sleeping giant awakened with a flurry of M flares and she may not be done yet. First, focus on the right, the bottom right. That little flash is important. It sets off the reaction on the sun. The first part of that is the solar tsunami, easily recognized here followed almost instantaneously by a huge eruption just behind the limb. The Lasco C3 images indicate a bit of a halo, meaning we have particles coming our way, but that's also kind of a moot point. You remember yesterday, I thought this active region was the beast. Well, at least halfway through the day, I had resigned myself wrong. Another decayer. Nope. Ten paciencia, por favor, eso. You see one M flare in CME, it is coming at Earth, and watch for another here at the end. That second one is bigger. Both of these last CMEs will sweep up whatever the solar tsunami and hydro flare pushed out. Expected impact to our global shield is Friday or Saturday. Eyes open, no fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.